Right, it's totally random, but look what I built. It's a chicken tunnel. Right, these guys are my rescue hens. I had six of these. I've already had to take one out of the group because they were bullying it. And now it looks like they're bullying another one. So they're, they're quite aggressive creatures, um, chickens can be. And these ones, I think because they've been in such a big group before, I've obviously had to kind of, you know, assert their dominance. I've put up some kind of enrichment things in their pens, obviously with this avian flu lockdown. Obviously means they can't free range, they can't escape from each other so much. The pen's quite a decent size for five of them. And I'm putting in enrichment, but they're a bit kind of cautious about anything like this. I'm hoping soon they'll get used to it. Hanging up some comfrey leaves and some kale leaves and things like that for them. Chucked in some nasturtiums for them as well. And they do peck at them, but I'm not sure it's enough to kind of keep them entertained. I'm going to give them some bit more space. Now I made these wooden frames with these hoops on about five years ago. The intentions was to put plastic over them, have as many polytunnels. But since then I've built the polytunnel. I've been using them less and less. And actually I just prefer to use hoops pushed in the ground. These really do get in the way if you've got a crop and then you need to like kind of move it around. Obviously they get quite heavy as the wood gets wet as well. But, that said, they will work perfectly for a chicken tunnel. So what I think, I've got four of these, and what I might do is make a corner piece that allows, the chick allows me to kind of position them in different ways. Obviously it's not going to be predator proof, um, stuff can dig underneath, but I'm going to just use this in the daytime when I'm here. I'm here most of the time, it's not very often I'm not here. And um, the idea being then I can shut them in their main pen at night. bit of bad garden in here where I've just kind of left this to its own devices in a weedy patch of the veg garden. Okay, so this gives them loads of floor area. So my thinking is to make a 90 degree corner and a piece that lets it connect up as a T piece. I've made these really strong and substantial because I didn't want them blown away when they had the plastic on. I think I'll probably stick to the same thing and use some, this is some Freeba too. Might use the same stuff. I've got some alpha pipes somewhere in that mess over there. Right, let's get on it. Okay, so I didn't have enough treated timber, I thought better off if it's tantalised to do it. So I ripped some forward two and a half, two by two ish, and I'm gonna pilot some holes in it now. Easy to see why we call these rattlers. We use these quite long screws here, just because I've got them and they make it a little bit stronger. I mean, it's hardly a piece of furniture. Because these are going to internet connect with the other ones, I'm not going to put the pipe on the outside because it might be in the way. I'm going to put it on the inside and it measured before about 720 to the top of the pipe. So that needs to come down a fair bit. I'm going to fix the one side and then just slide it down the side of my uh, workbench there.
Okay, this is one of my most random projects, I admit. But it's quite good fun. It hasn't taken me very long. It's probably taken me longer to film it than to make it. And uh, I've really enjoyed doing it. And I think the chickens are liking it too. Lots of fresh grass. Probably means more nutrients in our eggs as well, which is great. Um, and happier chickens, which is also great, you know. Win-win. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think to this. As long as it's nice. Ish. <laughs>